What's up guys, to get a Rampage here. So we're going Funko Pop hunting at the mall. They did get the brand new Hanako Chase, so maybe they still have some, so let's check it out. All right, let's see if they have any chases left. All right guys, so here we are in Hot Topic and they do have Hanako there. They seem to have plenty available, but no chases. I arrived about 10 minutes after they opened, so not surprised there. They also have the Winnie the Pooh Make-A-Wish, the blue metallic. It actually looks really nice there. Here's Mickey with the Space Mountain ride. It's actually really tiny in that box. We have a ton of Donald Shoulder Angel and Devils there. They have so much. I was not surprised that this one was not a hot seller, to be honest. Figured it would be a shelf warmer. We also do have Mirio as well as Jalal and the new Urza. And it does look like they restocked Zeref there, which is pretty cool. I actually found more Make-A-Wish Pops. We have the Pixar Sully there from Monsters, Inc., which is a really nice figure. And then we also do have Star Wars BB-8 over there, which is really cool with the multicolors. And down here, guys, we do have some of the brand new Squid Game Pops. Looks like just two of the characters. We also do have the Selena on Kyle. This was really cool. Hot Topic has their Funko Pop mystery box bags back. Now here's a really cool little anime corner where we found like a Kyo plushie as well as some Attack on Titan little figures. We also do have Seven Deadly Sins playing cards, which was really neat. Some Sailor Moon stuff, Jujutsu Kaisen, all kinds of different things going on over here, guys. But I wanted to show you guys a little bit of other really cool accessories. All right, guys, so they did actually only have the common left. So that's what we picked up. So far, so good. So in the grand scheme of things, guys, I actually went about 10 minutes after they opened so I wasn't really expecting to be able to get a chase because usually that just doesn't happen these days however I did figure why not let's test our luck I'm over here anyways because I'm gonna be uh, getting lunch with my mom and we're doing something with our phone plans everything like that so basically we did not end up with a chase today I haven't seen much of the anime maybe four episodes and it's it's pretty good I just like the look of the pop personally so I was gonna pick it up when I happen upon the chase I happen upon the chase but we got the common for now over here in GameStop, guys, they do have the Matrix Pops. They got WandaVision here, Scarlet Witch. Still a really cool pop. I have it, though. Uh, we have Totally Mini, Daryl from Letter Kenny. I think that's new. Oscar Martinez, Totally Mini, please, uh, Plain Craze Mini, White Rabbit. Uh, oh, they have the Mandalorian Two Stripes. I don't know if this is new or not, but I haven't personally seen it. That's pretty cool. GameStop exclusive. That sticker, though. Uh, we also have Chris Paul here. What else do we have? Justice League, Drew McIntyre, uh, Plato Container. Did you know they're making a movie about Plato? I found that really weird. Um, we have Baron Zemo. He just recently got a new pop where he's dancing in that Marvel Collector Core box. Zombie Iron Man, Agatha, Crow. Have the Deviant up there. Mike Wazowski, Catwoman, Fennec, Wonder Woman, Yeti. They got Emperor Pilaf restocking. Pretty cool, Agatha Harkness, Boo, Mew, Fairy Tale Jalal, Cho Cho, a lot of different things. Oh, they have the Ren and Stimpy uh, Powdered Toast Man, nice. And up top, guys, they have like a ton of different 10 inch pops. They even have Squirrel Pool up there. He still looks just as scary in person. You know, I don't really see a lot of like figures like this in person of Seven Deadly Sins, so this was actually really cool. Meliodas, as well as they do have Bond there, which is cool. We have Endeavor, Gara. Halo, the Joker from Mortal Kombat, that's interesting. Um, unrivaled AEW, nice. They're getting more figures out that there, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have some multiverse figures, what else do they, uh, what else? All kinds of different ones, wow. Oh, Batman, nice. GameStop had a couple cool things, but we're gonna head over to some other stores now. All right guys, so FYE has a huge selection as usual. They still have this big boy with restaurant. It looks torn through, oh my gosh, it is. You guys see that? It's like ripped. Wow. Uh, we got FYE Looney Tunes still here. This is a lot of the clearance, I guess. A lot of the pops that don't sell. Some of these are actually pretty valuable, surprisingly enough. Captain Hook at Peter's Pan's Flight Attraction. What do we have? Otis Money in the Bank. Jordan Peele Director. Some Lakers. Oh, ton of Post Malone. Got a mix of the Night in the Sundress. Oh, Light Bright. That's actually pretty cool. A couple of the Funko Golds right there. Let's see, Sword in the Stone pops are hitting stores, Monsters at Work, Hawkeye. Looks like they got in Morrowind as well as Sylvie on there, pretty nice, and Deluxe Dark Side. I think this is their newer section, so they have some of the Yu-Gi-Oh, My Hero, and Boruto. Unfortunately, guys, not much here, so let's move on. Over in Box Lunch, we do have some of the new Beauty and the Beast. We also do have the Mickey Box Lunch exclusive, actually a really nice looking one. We have Mini on Ice, as well as Princess Mini. Those are part of the Mini Archive ones. We have the People Movers. We have Mini, Captain Hook, uh, The Ride, I think Peter Pan's Flight, 
King George there, which was pretty cool, part of the new um, Hamilton set, James Madison. We also do have some of the Space Jam, Monsters, Inc. pops. Those actually look really cool. We do have some of the Simpsons there, as well as the uh, Naruto Sanrio Boruto, and uh, looks like Fairy Tail, DC Bombshells, Pokemon, all kinds of different stuff. We also do have the South Park Elementary with PC Principal. Actually pretty cool. Uh, we do have Iron Maiden, the brand new wave. It looks like mostly all of them, which is pretty nice, as well as the deluxe album. That looks sick. Looks like Box Lunch is actually getting Hunter Hunter manga now. That's actually really cool. Seems like they're getting a lot more merch. We also have a Killua plushie and t-shirts. And a really cool mug down here of Killua and Gon. All right, time to get our manga choice, and let's look at the pops. I think the newest thing they received was the comic version of Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pretty cool, though. Actually, I think this Jeff Gordon uh, driving Rainbow Warrior might be new, too. I haven't seen it before. You know, as soon as I saw this, I was like, this has to be our choice because it's perfectly themed for the pop. Toilet bound. All right, guys, so I think we hit about every store in the mall. We only picked up one thing, though, which I think is pretty good, surprisingly. I didn't want to spend a lot of money today. We might hit up a couple other shops and see if we find anything, but for now, we're done with the mall, and I think I'm going to have, go have lunch now. All right, guys, so I decided to dip into the local comic shop over here after lunch. Um, I think this is Hellboy. Yeah, these should be Hellboy Pops. Oh, Undertaker back there. Well, I got this one. <laughs> I think that's Abe. Uh, let's put him back. I don't. I think he's okay. If you guys are wondering, yeah, he should be fine. Um, let's see. I don't know what that is. Uh, this is Flash Gordon, Mr. Bean, hmm, Obi Wan Kenobi. That's like a hundred dollar pop. Probably. Yeah, forty five out of box. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is that Howard? Yeah, Big Bang Theory. Cool. How much is he? Thirty. Not bad. Uh, we have Hella there. That's the one Bailey's looking for, but I think it's. Yeah, it's 30 out of box. We might as well just get it in box. And it doesn't have the base stand. Um, a couple Star Wars Morbius. That movie was interesting. I think that's from the uh, Night Before Christmas. Ronan there. Stone Cold. Nice. Over here, guys, they have a couple of the Marvel kind of like uh, different categories. We have Madcap here. We have Quicksilver from X-Men. Gamora's pretty cool. Superman PX previews. Also the uh, black and blue one, the glow. Killer Frost. Nice. That's a cool find, actually. They also have the old school Glow Lumiere. Where did you see from? 2014. Wow. Uh, Blackest Night Batman, Dead Man, Batwoman, Spectre, um, The Joker, Glowing Mr. Burns, Chase. It's pretty nice. Um, Pegasus Saya, some of the Demon Slayer, Boruto, Fairy Tale, My Hero. We got Adventure Time, Gloody, The Mummy, Rocketeer, Cape Pride, Hawkeye, Vision. Venomized Kingpin, Human Torch, hmm, Pocahontas. Oh, they have the Summer Expo Little Mermaid sticker. That's pretty cool, actually. Flower up there, Boo, Negatron, bunch of DC and Star Wars, Batgirl. That's a pretty cool one. Um, Loki, bunch of out of box again. Green Hornet. That's pretty nice. This is some X Men character. I don't. Is that Kitty Pride? I don't think so. Someone let me know. Iron Man 3, Iron Patriot. That's a cool find. Mr. Chimes, Power Armor, Murloc, Blanca, Ultraman. It's a cool little glow pop. Hot Topic guy is an interesting find for sure. Haven't seen this pop in a long time. 2014. Faith from Valiant? Valiant? Interesting. Clicker, Pasha from around the world, Donatello. Here's some of their uh, bigger kind of pops. We have Twinkie the Kid, uh, like Pop T Bundle, Deluxe Catwoman, Hulk, Star Wars 3 pack, Professor Hulk, E Tree, Archon, Dagobah Face Off. Got a bunch of 10 inch pops. Oh, blue, nice. That's pretty cool. Um, Star Wars, Madam Web, still need that one. Maybe for out of box. Movie Moments Boba gets his bounty. That's pretty cool, actually. Trash Compactor, Thanos, let's see. Oh, they actually have this. I have not seen this in person. Let me grab this. A Lesson in the Force, this thing's huge. Yoda in there, that's really cool actually. Slide that back in there. Dumbledore with Hogwarts, that's smaller than I thought it was. Orville, Star Wars Movie Moments. Oh, they have the Death Star Duel, that's pretty cool. Nice. And then those are the out-of-box pops we were looking at. And this is their huge wall of pops, guys. Like, it literally goes on and on. I could sit here and go over pops all day. We're going to pick a couple out of here, though. Toucan. Oh, the SDCC sticker. 
some of the uh, Pops with Purpose line, Alfred, hmm. let's see, we have some Mega Man up there, some other like Pop games, some other Star Wars, some more Star Wars fans, some old school stuff in here blue boxes, black boxes. All right guys, so I think that might be it for this hunt. We didn't find anything in there that we particularly needed. There was a couple cool things, like I really like the Killer Frost, but it turned out it was really damaged and that's why it was $40. Other than that though, we picked up one thing from Hot Topic and we found a lot of cool stuff, but now I'm gonna head home and show you guys Hanukkah. Hey guys, so here we are back in the office. So it's a little bit different because I broke my SD card or it was breaking or something like that. I think that's why certain videos keep like breaking halfway through because like when I started like messing with the card a little bit it started like breaking apart I was like oh okay I guess I need a new one and I paid like $30 for that card that's so annoying <laughs> so I gotta go to Walmart and get another one I might have paid a little bit less I made I might have paid around 20 to 25 but that was a little bit of a bummer so I don't think anything important was on there though so that's good I guess anyways we're using my phone to record here um so we actually did pick up one thing from Hot Topic, and then I wanted to show you two things that I don't think I showed you the other day that was supposed to be in a video, but that video got scrapped because the card broke. So anyways, um, we do have these two I'm going to show you first. We do have Ryuk and L here from Death Note. So we have two of the four in the set, and I'm very excited to actually finally have this set. I need two more, and uh, I will be on the hunt for those. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think I've only had L with Cake, the Hot Topic exclusive in my collection one time in the past. Other than that, I don't think I've ever had these before. They, I feel like I might've gotten one out of box. Maybe Ryuk, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Anyways, if you haven't seen Death Note, it's actually a pretty good anime, but I mean, if you're not into like, I guess kind of horror style or like killing and all that, then maybe it's not for you. Anyways, I am glad to finally get the pops. There's only four pops in the set, but it's roughly a $500 to $700 Funko Pop set, depending on who you're buying from and conditions. So it definitely can get pricey with this set, but I got these two for a decent deal. Definitely a little bit discounted for what they're going for, so I'm happy with it. But I did want to share with you guys that I actually do have two of the four now. And does anybody own the Death Note set or are you after the Death Note set? Let me know down below. Now guys, we do have our Hot Topic pickup here and we do have the Hanako here from the Toilet Bound Hanako cocoon anime here so this is literally where he's just sitting on a toilet and then the chase is where he does actually have the knife in hand it would have been cool if they actually just maybe put the chase on the back given there's not much going on on the back here um so i watched about four oh i got the i got one with a little bit of damage you know what's funny i looked over in the store and i got one with damage that's there was like probably like 12 available how did i mess that up anyways it's not too bad but as i was saying i watched about four maybe four and a half episodes of um this anime and it, it's pretty decent to be honest i'm still 50 50 on it i gotta give it um you know more of a chance and everything um recently i've been doing a lot of youtube stuff as well as me and bay have been watching space force over on netflix i don't know if anybody knows that show but it's like literally been consuming our time at night because it's just so funny with Steve Crow. Like, I absolutely love the show. I heard about it and I heard it was funny and then we just gave it a shot and it actually turned out to be really good and we look forward to watching a few episodes every night now. It is a pretty decent anime if you do want to check it out if you're interested in the pop. That's why I checked it out because I wanted to actually pick up the pop because I thought it was really cool. Anyways, that was very long-winded. I'll show you guys the pop now and uh, let's take it out of box here. It's a pretty nice looking one. But taking him out of box here, guys, he is actually really well detailed. And being on a toilet, it's just kind of funny. So essentially, kind of what the anime follows is that he is like a ghost boy, essentially, and he grants wishes in a bathroom. That's just his designated spot, essentially, and that's, that's the spot where he... That's his domain, I guess, is the best way I can put it without saying any spoilers, essentially. Uh, but it is pretty neat. Though I will say, I'm very shocked to see this actually get a Funko Pop because compared to some other animes, a lot of people didn't actually know what this was or know anything about it. So it is cool that more of the merchandise is getting out for this show and introducing a lot of like Funko Pop collectors, especially anime collectors, to this anime now. And they're probably going to get a ton of new viewers and maybe even more manga buyers. We even found the manga today over in uh, Books a Million, which was really cool to theme it up. Overall though, I really like the colors of the pop. I think it's really nice. The yellow eyes looks really cool, the brown hat. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Even the toilet's very detailed, <laughs> that's hilarious. Overall, it's a pretty nice pop. And if you guys wanna pick it up, again, it's available at Hot Topic. There was some issues that a couple people were running into where it was, um, some Hot Topics were saying it was street data, even though like literally all over the West Coast and East Coast, they've been selling them. 
I have no idea what's going on with that. I don't know how they sent out a release date after so many stores have sold them, but it is kind of annoying to turn people away when they already know about the pop, and then now you're just saying, hey, you can't actually buy them right now. Now, we do have the early pre-order link as to when it's going to go live. We don't know just yet, but I posted that in my story over on Instagram. If you guys do want to save that link, it is available over there. I am curious, though, how many people actually really do like this pop? Are you guys excited about it? Are you going to pick it up? And do you guys like the anime? Again, I'm definitely going to give it another shot because it is kind of like a little quirky kind of anime so um, again I'm 50 50 but I'll update you guys in the future on how I like it well guys that was all of our Funko Pops for this video we did also go to a comic book shop if you made it this far into the video we found a lot of cool stuff a lot of older pops some Star Wars stuff some Marvel stuff there were a couple things that I would have liked to have in the collection but I don't really collect those lines so it really didn't make sense for me and that at, at the time right now because I'm still kind of sorting out how I want my collection to look and where other like different collections are going to go on different displays so when I figure that all out I might branch out a little bit and get some of the other like solo pops that I do want but we did find a lot of cool stuff today like the lesson of the force thing was really nice I don't know that much about Star Wars but it did look really cool though if you did see something in that comic book shop that you liked let me know down below I'm gonna end this video off though thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like down below if you did enjoy I do want to say a big shout out to all the patreon supporters of the channel thank you guys so much i really do appreciate and love your support it's really awesome if you guys want to check out the patreon link is down below we do have a patreon only discord where we share a lot of information and updates first so check that out down below we also do have a facebook group with over 12,000 members it's a buy sell and trade group and lastly make sure to be following all of my social medias instagram twitter and tiktok for more updates all right love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye